In this video, I will show you how to add or use transition effects in shortcuts. Without transitions, moving between two clips can feel abrupt and unnatural. On the other hand, transitions seamlessly blend your edits, delivering a smoother viewing experience while enhancing the storytelling in your video. Hi, I'm Sankesa and welcome to Vertical Darts. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. I post plenty of tutorials on shortcuts that you will find incredibly useful. Now let's dive into how you can add transitions in shortcut. I will use these clips to demonstrate. The first and simplest transition is the fade in and fade out effect. Hover over the top right corner of the clip and you will notice a small circle. Drag it to the left to create a fade out effect. Similarly, for the next clip, hover over the top left corner, find the circle and drag it to the right for a fade in effect. And there you have it, your fade out and fade in transition. Next, let's create a dissolve transition, one of the most commonly used effects in video editing. To do this, overlap the second clip slightly over the first. Shortcut automatically generates a dissolve transition. The duration of the transition depends on how much the clip overlap. The smaller the overlap, the quicker the transition. The larger the overlap, the slower it will be. For more transition options, right click on the transition and select properties. Here you will find a variety of effects. You can preview the effect in this window. Test different transitions to see which one works best for your video. Let's try the matrix waterfall vertical transition. If you want to change the transition direction, for example, switching from left to right to right to left, just check the invert Y box. You can also create custom transitions by combining effects. Let me quickly show you how to create popular zoom transition. Go to the end of the first clip and move the playhead slightly forward. Click filters, hit the plus sign and search for the size, position and rotate filter. Select it and add a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon. If you are unfamiliar with keyframes, I recommend watching my video how to add keyframes in shortcut for a complete guide. Now move the playhead to the end of the clip and increase the zoom level. For the second clip, repeat the process. Add the size, position and rotate filter. Move the playhead forward slightly and create a keyframe. Then go to the clip's beginning and increase the zoom level. To make this smoother, let's add motion blur. Select the first clip, click plus and search for blur. Select the Gaussian blur. Click the size, position and rotate filter. In the keyframe panel, go to the first keyframe's position. Select the blur filter, create a keyframe and set the blur amount to 0. 
move the play hair to the end of the clip and increase the blur amount. For the second clip, repeat the same process. Click the plus sign to add the Gaussian blur filter. Click the size, position and rotate filter. In the keyframe panel, go to the last keyframe's position. Select the blur filter. Click the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe and set the blur amount to zero. Move the play hair to the beginning of the clip and increase the blur amount. Now your zoom transition is complete with both motion blur and seamless adjustments. It gives a smooth cinematic touch to your video edits. If you want to learn more, check out my tutorials on creating stylish and cinematic transitions in shortcuts. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.